A lot's been going on with your girl Donna from Black Ink Crew. First of all, she was allegedly fired from the shop by Caesar. And the reason why she was fired was, can you let me know in the comment section? Was it her being neglectful? Was it her doing tattoos bad? Does anybody know why she got fired? It's like I was watching the episode where Caesar talked about it. But it's like I was like halfway listening. You know, kind of like when a female talks to you, it's like you're not really listening. You're that, you have that selective hearing. You know, she says something crazy. Then you'll hear that. She'd be like, oh, by the way, I'm cheating on you. Be like, mm -hmm, what'd you say? You know, so it was one of those type of situations with me where I don't even know exactly what happened with that. But click the thumbs up button. Thumbs up this video right now. Make sure you say hi in the comment section. It helps with the algorithm. As a matter of fact, so let me know that you're listening. Say this in the comment section. Say pink. Okay, that'll let me know that you're engaged and it helps with the algorithm. But here's the deal, right? So in my opinion, I think this was a response to Caesar. You know, every one of these reality TV shows, pretty much at least the urban ones, has somebody who's painted out to be the villain or the bad guy or the bad girl. Because you need an antagonist, you know, basically somebody who is the quote unquote villain to have conflict on the show. Like Jocelyn Hernandez was used that way on Love and Hip Hop. Tammy Roman Roman was used that way. Also, Evelyn Lozada was used that way on Basketball Wives, etc. Nene Leakes on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Donna is, of course, the quote, bad guy on Black Ink Crew New York, right? And she got fired from the show. Another thing that happened was her and Alex, her boyfriend, allegedly broke up. Some people say that, no, 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 no. They're still together. Other people say that he was pictured with another woman. So they are for sure broken up. But here's the deal. Here's where your girl, Donna, set up on Instagram, which makes me think that she was talking about your man Caesar. She kept it straight to the point simple. She said, is it me? Am I the villain? With some sort of emoji, somebody let me know what that emoji is and a devil face emoji. She also said, hashtag damn Donna, hashtag Donna M, hashtag Disney, hashtag character, hashtag villain, hashtag explore, hashtag reels, hashtag follow, hashtag follow me, hashtag black ink crew, hashtag VH1, hashtag cute, facts you are cute, even though you're a heifer, hashtag pink, hashtag pink hair, hashtag Soto. What does S-O-T-O, Soto mean? I don't know what that means. Hashtag mother uni. What does that mean, mother uni? Mother U-N-I-I. -I. The only uni I know is DJ Uni. U-N-I. That's my girl with her fine self. Shout out to her. So do you guys think that Donna was talking about your man Caesar or do you think she was talking about something else? You know, this is all alleged, but I think that that's what she was referring to. You know, she keeps getting fired. It's like, I... I <laughs> Her getting fired on an episode of Black Ink Crew is like seeing Jazz get thrown out of the house on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's, it's the same thing. It's, it's, it's just what you expect. It's like saying, rather, it's like hearing Urkel say, Hey, Laura, Yanni Cheese on Family Matters. Or what, what you're talking about, Willis, on Different Strokes, Gary Coleman, Arnold, that was his character. You know, it's that's that's the tagline. That's that's the punchline. That that's the reoccurring event that you just expect to see. If Donna did not get fired, <laughs> oh, and like Kenny on uh, South Park when Kenny dies, you, uh, you killed Kenny. You know, it's it's it, it's a reoccurring bit. At this point, it is what it is, and I'm over it. It's played out. It's like, why don't you fire her for good, or just keep her on and figure out how to deal with her. But all of this going back and forth. So why does she keep going back and forth? It's like the weirdest relationship. It's like the weirdest situation where she keeps going back and forth. It's like people in their love lives where people, you know, will break up and then they'll get back together and whatnot. It just is it, sad and pathetic. But anyway, so let me know you made it all the way into the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is choose. The reason why choose is the password is because it's like Caesar needs to pick a side, you know. Are you going to choose to keep her there or to get rid of her? And that way she can move on with her life. And she needs to choose as well. Because honestly, it's draining, you know, to see somebody get quote unquote fired and then they're back at the business and then they're fired and they're back again. I see why Melody, who was a level headed, kind person, one of the only normal people there other than Walt, <laughs> you know, I can see why she doesn't even deal with the foolishness. It's like, how can you do in a toxic environment like that? And Melody was just so chill and so cool and fly and beautiful. Shout out to Melody. I miss her. She, she was my favorite. But who's your favorite from the show and why? Please let me know in the comment section. And what do you think about your girl Donna? Do you think that she should be there or do you think she should walk away? What do you think her decision should be? Who should choose that decision? Who should choose her fate? Caesar or her? Let me know below in the comment section. 
Am I crazy when I say that she, she's talking about her being the villain on the show? Or is she talking about something else? Click the thumbs up button on your way out. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. You can at least say hi. It's free to comment. It's free to subscribe. It's free to choose all notifications. It's free to thumbs up. It's free to do all these things. Other people trying to sell you something, trying to get you to sign up for this, that, and third. You know, they want you on their website, their application. Listen, I am here asking you to do something for free. You know, so the fact that I'm asking you for no money, you know, everybody else is like, hey, I need your money for this. I need your money for that. I don't ask y'all to pay for me to make a documentary or, you know, I don't try to sell you T-shirts. I don't try to sell you beverages. None of that. OK. Well, anyways, th that's that's for the people who don't want to click thumbs up. Those that don't want to comment. Other blogs listen to me so that they can have help, you know, for free material. And they'll come by and listen. They'll be like, I'm not clicking the thumbs up on this video. It's like, well, why are you here? Just steal, just a leech. That's sad. But anyways, anyways, helps with the algorithm when you comment or you click thumbs up. And the best part of it all is free.